yeah hi all and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all fine yeah today i want to show you again how you can cool your playstation 4 pro even better as i have already done on some other videos this and more i'm going to show you after the intro let's go and see yes guys before you go on please be sure that you subscribe to my channel thumbs up and all the rest <laughs> that would be really great because like that you can just support me so let's just check it out if you can see something if you notice something hmm let's check it out what have NSC done here <laughs> yeah I have tested a lot of stuff already about two days long right now and I saw we can here again just do some small modifications which will bring you about one or two degrees better temperatures. Okay, so this is the thing that I have tested right now. Um, for the guys that maybe just has not noticed it, hmm, something here is missing. Yeah, this one here. So this is the heat shield, we can say, some kind of plate which comes over there. I need to take care of what I'm doing here because when it falls down, then it's a short circuit here somewhere. <laughs> so, um, but I'm gonna explain you some stuff right now. Okay, so this one here, I have to just take it out and it's running without this plate here okay so then i'm gonna now uh, pass the smartphone to my daughter say hello to diana hello Hi. diana hello how are you i'm good 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 so the first thing that i have uh, noticed but you can also find on the internet is that this chip here gets really hot okay this chip and like you can see i have already put here a small heat sink Okay, so this stuff here is not bad. It's uh, aluminium. You can buy them also um, on, oh, let's say, with Cooper. And there you have, uh, let's say, a double glue under there. You can just um, put it over there and this will not fall down. Okay, so no panic on Titanic. And this is also really great because I can touch it right now and it's not so hot like it was before. The other thing is also what I have tested here. You have this small space, which you can see the fan here turning, and there comes some air out. Okay, I can feel it with the hand. I can feel the, the air get still here. Wait. I can still feel it. Wait. Yeah, I can still feel it over here. Okay, and when I go down, I can feel it even more. So, the thing is now, which I have done with lots of tests and I really can tell you the thing that I wanted to do is to get the PlayStation under 75 degrees and that the fan will not turn higher. I have here a fan adjuster like you can see and I have set the fan just a little little bit, really. I can show you that later. Um, I was now able here to play around um, 68 till 73 degrees, okay? And the fan was not turning higher. And this was for me most important because there you can see that the PlayStation is not really running hot. So when the fan is turning higher and higher, that means something is wrong here. And the other thing is also, I got so much in my brain right now. Um, you can see I have put here some stuff under there that the PlayStation gets a little bit up because I got there already... Um, yeah, my fan modified on this side here, but I'm going to show you this also later. So for now, let's hold it again, and I'm going to now just explain you some stuff which is really important that you understand it. So I'm going to put the um, temperature display here on the side. Um, this is here normally over there, okay? So the thing is also, you can see already here lots of holes. So they already knew that this gets hot, okay? But this part here is totally close and this too. So this over here uh, is for me not important because it's just uh, HDD inside or in this case I got here a SSD. And this part here is for me the most important because here they're sitting the VRAMs and the APU holder and all the stuff. So this part here gets really hot because here are the memories also sitting around. I'm going to show you where exactly. So if you're going to take a closer look, um, you can see here a small, a small dot here, 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 and here, 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 here. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, memory chips, okay, or VRAM chips, however you want to call it. So um, the thing is like that when this part is over there, uh, that's yeah, this here then you can see that the air which comes here out will not be able to pass 
over there. So this is now just my idea, which I have tested lots the last two days. And before I forget, I got here again liquid metal thermal paste. I put here a little bit more as usually, but um, I'm gonna just do a test for let's say a half year or an year. And maybe next September, <laughs> I'm going to open it again. Maybe Ilya, it confirms how the PlayStation will work because when I notice the fan gets higher and higher, so that means that the liquid metal thermal paste is hard again. So, but uh, this is just for my test right now because normally I'm not the friend from uh, liquid metal thermal paste on the PlayStation. Here, I really recommend uh, Arctic MX5 or Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Okay, so this was the best tests what I have also done before in the past. Uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut and MX5, they are working probably very good. So, but when this here, like I told, is over there, the air which comes here out is not getting here inside. It was also not planned like that. But this is just my idea, which I have tested now the last two days and it's yeah working so uh, the thing is when you just take this apart the first thing is all over here uh, is a little bit free okay so it's not closed the the hot air is not blocked and it can just um, let's say um, be free okay so this is the first thing when you take this case off you need to know that so yeah don't look at this one here because I got the screws under this uh, hidden because uh, the screws that has just left it was one two three four five six and seven okay here are smaller black screws i have chosen for myself um put here with a black tape uh, so i will never lose them again but this one here gonna go to the package back yeah I, I still got the original playstation 4 pro package i'm gonna just put this back because yeah i don't need it anymore the only thing you need to know this is good for let's say it's just stable, okay? So when your PlayStation falls down or whatever, yeah, like that, it could be really a little bit uh, critical because when it falls down, maybe your motherboard gonna break faster or the case gonna bend faster or whatever. So you need to take care because this year normally is really good for the, I don't know how to uh, to call that, So, but it's just stable, okay? So if you have this here also included, of course, it will not bend that fast and when it falls down, it's probably gonna not happen that much as or then it's just like that okay so here <laughs> yeah it's it's really um, hardcore okay so you need to know when you do this then just take care and uh, better don't let your PlayStation fall down okay <laughs> so or so you better don't let your PlayStation fall down when you have liquid metal thermal paste okay because the liquid metal could run everywhere or, or let's say somewhere it could cause you a short circuit so that's why you should take care with liquid metal thermal paste okay so yeah I have uh, now just done this like you can see here with the original screws so that means I was able to fix the motherboard steel with the original screws. So come a little bit near again and here you can see that the screws are really holding the motherboard. And when I was just fixing the screws, I really saw that the screws are really touching the motherboard here. You don't need to be panicked. The PlayStation is running like you can see. <laughs> so um, this is all just ground here. Um, no panic on Titanic, it's all okay. If you just like, you could probably put also some plastic under there, but it's just not necessary. It holds perfectly. Uh, also these small screws here, they are really smaller. But there I have also sit perfectly inside and um, I got here one, two, three black screws. So I talk here about the smaller ones. Here you got one also and here also, but um, it's just not necessary to get them here inside because there is also nothing to hold. <laughs> so um, yeah, I have also just put some feet under the case. I'm going to show you this later. And uh, when it now just close the case back, the air which came see out from the side a little bit gonna help you also to cool this part here because this part here gets really hot and this is also the thing that I was testing. I got here an old Intel cooler. <laughs> this is uh, from a socket 775 from computers normally. Um, I have put it here inside or over there for a while and then I have also turned it to this side because here I got more place which is just lying there. And I saw that after 10 minutes, this here was also getting very hot, or let's say hot. Okay, so this is the sign that this part here really gets hot because they are also sitting the VRAM chips 
and they of course gets also hot and that's why you should take care so but this is the thing that i was testing for myself and at last you don't need this here the air here which is also running out here uh, will help you to cool this part so for now the most important thing for me was that the playstation keeps running under 75 degrees we are still in the game final fantasy <laughs> and yeah look it's not loud okay and it's not getting louder and this is for me the most important and uh, this here is really great because i already feel it's way cooler as it was before so i think this was the syscom chip here and uh, this was really hot this is the bluetooth wi-fi chip or antenna or whatever this was here not that hot a little bit warm but not hot this also not the rest there was really just running cool but this one here was running really hot and that's why i have just uh yeah done it so the people they just don't talk about the part under there and i just thought to think about what can i do here a little bit better as it was before and this here probably really is working great guys yeah, the most important thing for me was this part here, because like I told, I have tested now about two days with temperature display and I was really able to see that the PlayStation is running now very cool because it's not getting that fast hot and the air now can here really pass through and it helps here just to cool this plate too and it has just more space so this is just logic you know so um, i'm gonna not just close the case and then um, i'm gonna show you also uh, how i have just um, put there some feeds and you can just do it like that okay if you trust me you can go like that but please take care that your playstation 4 is not falling down or something like that <laughs> all right um, the case is sitting over here i got here um, a special rubber uh, I don't know the name right now, but this is some kind of anti-vibration rubber. You can see that, you can buy that on the internet. And I have cut some pieces for me. I have here now five pieces, one, two, three, four, five. And I got here some double glue tape or whatever it calls. So um, you can just cut it and it will also... You will not need to uh, fix it with super glue or second glue. So this is great because you can just take it yeah, all the time off again and this is for me the most important so i'm gonna pass the smartphone again and here also like i told this uh the smaller coolers here i had um some of i had some um long time ago i just bought them and uh, they are really thin so i can show you now the difference between a higher one and a thinner one so i don't really want to touch it because they have uh, a glue under there you can buy them also on uh, with cooper uh, so the heat transfer will be even better so you can see the difference this one on the right side is very high and the one on the left side is recommend for the playstation 4 okay so you can see that because when you put this one here over there you will not be able to close the case again um i got liquid metal here like i told you and some people they ask me if it's recommend to let the PlayStation like that or just to stand it up. I always say with a uh, liquid metal thermal paste, it's always better to lie it down because liquid metal thermal paste, when the PlayStation is standing, uh, the liquid metal it runs just a little bit down, you know, so you need to take care. Uh, liquid metal is like, yeah, it's liquid. <laughs> and if it's liquid, you can imagine that the liquid. Uh, thermal paste runs down if you just have your playstation like that okay and that's why i'm more the friend uh, to lay it down with liquid metal thermal paste okay i'm just talking about liquid metal thermal paste so let's now take a look it's great looks great let's go under there so we have a lots of space under there see that yeah and there's the special rubber also and it's really nice see that so it's anti-vibration rubber <laughs> i don't know how it calls in english i'm sorry <laughs> so yeah it, it's great i'm gonna now just um, put all back together here's the fan mod uh, which i have done long time ago 
you can watch on my YouTube also how I have modified the PlayStation 4 fan into a PlayStation 3 fan. So that means here inside is a PlayStation 3 fan. This is not the PlayStation 4 fan. Okay, this is also here all totally modified. I got here on the side also my temperature uh, adjuster. I got here also a rainbow LED and all the stuff and it's not bad. It's not bad. The fits here, like you can see, it's also helping because the PlayStation now gonna not be able to transfer the heat to your table or whatever and of course this gets all hot with the time so here it has space to breathe <laughs> and yeah i hope you guys like it this was all for now and soon more videos of course and stay tuned on my channel thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support me and i wish you all the best peace and see in the place to be and see